We are slowly approaching the end of the course, and in this final lesson we're going to take a look how to deploy Vite application. And the service for the deployment that we are going to be using is called GitHub Pages. In fact, there are a lot more services that provide support for when it comes to deployment. And the deployment process is pretty simple for any of those services. So we're going to review deployment steps by using GitHub Pages. As always, I have already prepared default vid application, which we're going to deploy. And actually, before getting to the deployment, we need to make sure that our repository exists on GitHub, which in my case it does, so we can go directly to the deployment. We will not change any default configurations, so after building our project, all build files will be located inside this folder. And this is exactly the folder which is going to be deployed. So here in docs, let's choose the option deployment to GitHub pages and uh, our repository URL corresponds to this format where we have two URL segments. First one is our GitHub username and the second one is the name of the repository. So the only configuration option we have to specify will be the option called base and this option should contain the name of our repository. So let's just go ahead and create configuration file vid.config.js in the root of this project. From here we're going to export configuration object with only one option, base, where we're gonna specify repository name, which in my case is vid-deployment. And once again this is really important that this option value should match repository name on GitHub. So now we have to create new commit where we're gonna include our configuration file. Let's specify any message and push this commit to GitHub. After that, let's just make sure that the new commit appears in the GitHub history of our project. It is this second commit. Then let's open up settings tab. The main branch of our repository is main. So we're gonna deploy this branch. And now on the left side, let's open up page called pages. And in here we have to set up some deployment configurations. Firstly, in this source dropdown, we have to choose option GitHub Actions. And then let's click this link, create your own, which is basically going to create an empty deployment configuration file. Let's clear out all this predefined content and specify our own configurations. And these configurations are listed in vid docs. So we just have to copy over this whole configuration, paste it in that file. And let's quickly go through some of the options specified in this file. In here we can see which branch is going to be deployed. And down here there are a couple of steps which will be executed during deployment. For example, in here we can see that the node version which is going to be used to build our project will be version 18. Then we're going to install all npm dependencies by running npm install. After that, we're going to build the project by running npm run build. And at the end, once this folder with our build files will be created, this folder will be deployed to GitHub Pages server. Then let's just give this configuration file a name, for example deploy.yml and click commit changes. In here let's make sure that the new commit will be created on the main branch. Let's click commit changes once again. And then we can see another new commit in the commit history. That's the commit with the configuration file for deployment we have just created. And then if we open up tab actions, here we can actually see the new deployment task that is currently running. And this is our deployment task, so anytime we're gonna push changes to the main branch, it will automatically kick off the deployment process. And by clicking on this task, we can actually inspect what steps are executed during the deployment. And once this deployment will be successfully finished, we can once again open up settings tab and then go to pages page. And in here, we will see the URL where our application will be available on the web. So by following this URL, we can see that our application was successfully deployed on GitHub pages. And that's it, we were able to successfully deploy 
with application on GitHub Pages server. As we can see, it was a pretty simple process. And if we decide to deploy our project by using another hosting provider, the deployment process is going to be pretty simple as well. And with that, we are finishing this course about VidBundler.